Starting, Math Module 3, Lesson 21, 4th Grade. Boys and girls, here it is. No, that's <laughs> not it. Wait a second, here it comes. Lesson 21. Yes. Okay, I'm going to read this to you. You guys stick with me now. South 37 divided by 2 using an area model Use long division and the distributive property to record your work. Here it is. Stay with me. 37 divided by 2 is too hard for me. I want to break down that 37 into two numbers that are much easier. I'm thinking more like maybe a 30. The math book people tell me to break it down into, uh, Jack did it differently. He broke it down into a, a 2 a 20 and a 16. Now, and he had a little unit left over. So let's see. I'll stick with Jack. What did Jack do? Draw yourself an area model. Break it down into two goes into, well, I would pick 30. It would be easy. You want to go with 30? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. 30 is easy too. So I'm going to go a little bit different than Jack. I'm going to take a little diversion. Jack did 20, I'm doing 30 because, you know, I'm better than Jack <laughs> by 10. <laughs> All right, so 30, I have now left over a 7, which is difficult to deal with because 2 doesn't go into 7. But 2 will go into a close number to 7, which is the next number right next to it called? 6. 6 is correct. I'm going to put 6 here, and I'm going to draw 7. On the outside is his own little cube sitting there just waiting till later to deal with the problem, that cube right there. So I'm going to put my answer on top here. Two goes into 30. I'm guessing you guys know it's 15. Yes, you are correct. It's 15 times. Two goes into six. That is correct, Ruben. You're good. I'm going to give you a point in my mental head. Okay. I'm thinking about Reuben right now with, a, with, a, with an extra point for him. Two goes into six three times. I love it. Now, I'm going to add those together just like yesterday. Here it goes. And I'm going to get my final answer. I'll put it down here in the bottom. 15 plus 3. I'm going to get my final answer is 18. Yes. Now, the problem is this little dude that made another one, the little one guy here, He's going to be the remainder of one cube. Okay. Do you see what I'm doing? Do you catch my drift? I do. No. Yes. Do you feel the math coming to you? Yes. Good. All right, here we go. Kind of. Kind of. Don't, no. don't give me a kind of. Give me a yes. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. Kind of works for me also. Yes. Sorry. Kind of. Sorry, I'm cold. Kind of. All right, here we go. Now, we're going to use the, uh, the distributive property to record your work. Use long division and distributive. I, well, I'll tell you what, let's just do long division. We're going to put the 37 in the house of division. We're going to put the 2 outside and we're going to attack it just a long division. We're going to get the same answer on top using a different method. Bella, you with me on this one? <laughs> Say, yes, sir, Mr. Leonard. Yes, sir, Mr. Leonard. That's not Bella, but anyway. <laughs> 2 goes into 3 one time. 2 times 1. 1 is 2. Subtract. You get a remainder of 1 for this initial part. I draw an arrow. I love arrows. As long as they're not coming at me, I love it. So I'm going to draw an arrow right there. Bring down the 7. 7 comes down, sitting here nice and pretty. It's laying here 17, waiting for me to come after it with a 2 as best I can. I look on my... I could look at my multiplication tables and see how close I can get to 17 using 2, and you say it's 8. 2 times 8, 16. I'll subtract, and I find my remainder is the number 1. That comes zipping up to the top like a rocket. Remainder is 1. Same answer here, same answer here. Wow. I hope we just continue to do math this year, always using two different methods, making it twice as long. <coughs> they want me to do it a third way to make it even three times as long, but you know, since our lives are short, we need to have you know fun and do things we want. I'm going to move on. 
How many people are happy with this accent right now? Do I need to change it back? No, okay, the vast majority still want to hear this coming at you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I like it very much, but I'll keep it up. What? Can you switch to Irish at question? An Irish accent right after doing a cowboy accent. <laughs> That's hard. I'll tell you that right now. Uh, no. <laughs> that would be impossible at this point. So 76 divided by 3 using an area model. Um, I'm going to split this up. I like... I like three going into 60. I'm not sure why. Look, Mr. Yakel's here. i got a question for you. He's got a question for us. Now, guys, I was going to go outside, but um, you know what? It is a little bit cold and everything. But I'm going to show my kids a 30-minute video that has to do It's like the Dear America series that has to do with the first Thanksgiving and everything. Would you guys like to come on? It's over? either do work or do that. <laughs> how about, do that. Guys, I'll tell you what. How about bring your chairs? Your chair. All right, we're back. I don't know what happened to y'all, but you're back in class. I don't know what my accent's doing now because it's been about a half an hour. <laughs> As we left off, looking back at this uh, math problem, we split up 76 into 60, and then the other part was 16. Am I correct? Yes. Or am I correct? Yes. No, no, no. no. The other part has to be 15. Oh, yes, 15, because 3 won't go into 16. There's no possible way that would happen. So I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a warped, uh, small, uh, small, well, I guess we would call it a cube, a growth, something that the doctor would be worried about if he saw it on the side of you down there. It's like, what is that? And you're going to say, that's my remainder. Uh, which, oh, oh, my remainder. Of course, you're not a math problem, so don't worry about it. Three goes into 60, I'm thinking 20. Yep. That's what I'm putting together in my head as an idea. Mm -hmm. Three goes into 15, Collins telling me five times, and so is Reuben back there, five. If I add those together, I get down here, I get the total of 25 with a remainder of one wart on the side. <laughs> Gross, here we go. Now, long division. Long division. This, this is the fun part. This is the part that I like. The long division, the tail. I like growing tails. Not myself, but on a, on a math problem. <laughs> All right, divided by three. Three does not go into seven, so I have to give up. Is that right? No, wait a minute. Oh, I can get close. Don't give up. Okay, Abby, did you get that part? Don't just walk away. Three goes into seven two times. Three times two is six. Subtract, I'm going to get a, a remainder of one in the tens place. That adds actually a ten. I can't believe it. It's one ten, but I bring down the, do I draw an arrow? Yes. Love arrows, as long as they're coming down from the sky and I'm not underneath it. Six. Three goes into six. How close? Five, two? Just two times? Three, sixteen. Oh, I'm sorry, sixteen. I'm, I'm, talking, I'm talking the new number. This is not the old number. We're talking about a new one. Let's go have a test. As close as I can get is five. Subtract. Remainder is one. The remainder goes up top, right next to it, lives on the house. I've seen some people do this weird things with the remainder, and they do it 25, and then they do like this over the side. Please don't do that. That's just like write your name, like, uh, you know, if I wrote, you know, somebody's name with their last name, it just looks huge. No, this actually belongs up top here with this thing. It's on top of the house, lives up there with it, in a little cozy spot on the roof. With Lily's quilts. Oh, look at this one. Somebody did it for you. Did you have yours done? Yeah. Oh, yay. Carolina solved the following division problem by drawing an area model. What division problem did she solve? Carolina, what did you do? Carolina has a number in the center here. Does anybody know what the original number was? 50. Yes. 52. You were correct. Wait, wait well, 53. Right, you're right. Because he's looking at this in a different way now. He's looking at there's a little growth down here, a little one square. So he said this was 52 plus the remaining one, the original number was 53. Divided by what? Yell it out, Mackenzie. What? Nope. Not what. That was not the word I was using. You know, yell out a different word other than what. 88. What is it divided by? 
53 was divided by? Four. Four is a better word than what? I'll take four. Your answer four is good. All right. So this is the division problem she was solving for. Show how Carolina's model could be represented using the distributive property. All right, we're going to break this number down and divide these numbers separately by four individually, distribute the four evenly. So what I want to do is 40 divided by four. I want to add that answer to the 12 divided by four. But before I'm done, I can't equal 50, uh, I can't equal 53 divided by four yet. <laughs> I'm missing something. Maybe you guys can remember what it is. I've got to do something else over on this side to make sure it's balanced right there on that teeter-totter. I call it a seesaw. You guys call it a teeter-totter or seesaw? I think it could be called a teeter-totter or seesaw. What's your favorite? Seesaw? One, teeter -totter. two. Teeter-totter. Teeter-totter wins the day. We're going to call it a teeter-totter. On that teeter-totter, well, they're just like, what? On the teeter totter, it's missing a number on one side. They're not balanced yet. Oh, no. Because this is a 40 and a 12 divided by 4, but this is a 53 divided by 4. What's it missing? I got to do what, Kate? Yeah, what I got to do? Something else in here. You're thinking about it, you're staring at the board. Yeah, I got the 40 divided by 4. I got the 12 divided by 4, but that's not the same thing as 53 divided by 4. There's something. Mrs. Bella, tell me. It's the remainder. How do I, where do I put it? I don't know. That's a hard part. You yeah. have, you do where do I put it? The fat, those two numbers that you do plus 1. Right here? Yeah. Correct. Say that you're right. Yeah, now they're balanced. See, sometimes you pay attention. Sometimes you pay attention. I like that. So the answer to this is actually 10 plus 3 plus a remainder of 1 that I can't involve here. So I didn't divide it, so it never touched the 4. The 4 never touched the remainder. So he can't be touched. He's untouchable. <laughs> 13, remainder 1 is the same thing as 53 divided by four, so say the teeter-totter. <laughs> the balancing teeter-totter says it's the same answer. This is a beautiful, beautiful balance. <laughs> if I took the one off right there, I would be out of balance because 53 divided by four is not 13. It's 13 with one that can't be touched. I didn't like that one either. I want to go on. Did I, did I go too fast? Yes. Did I go too fast for y'all? Yes. 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 While they're doing that, if it's taking that much time, let's go to the next page. I'm going to look at this one called <laughs> Solve the Following Problem Using an Area Model. Support the Area Model Using Long Division. That's wow, that's a tough one. I'm going to say 48 divided by 3. Whoa, whoa. We don't have a box, do we? It's Friday. Wait a minute, it's Friday. Let's just do it with long division. Yeah! Ah, yeah. oh, Friday. Why don't you have It's Friday. We can have a nice teacher in the house. Mr. Leonard, it's Friday. Yes, sir. Can you go down to question number 10? I don't want to do that. You don't want to do that? You want to go down to 10? No, I don't want to do no math. Whoa, there's no 10. Right there. Oh, down here. We don't want to do it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's do it in long division. Okay. Because it's easy. Yeah, that would be good. Now, we could, we could do every model, but we're going to do long division. You're going to bell. Saved by the bell. Uh, take it up. Uh, sorry about the bell. Here it comes. 73 students divided in groups of six. We can do it. 73 kids divided in groups of six. Easy division problem. Let's see what happens. Groups of six. How many groups? Uh, excuse me. Did you do, did you write this down for the bottom? No, wrong page. There. there you go. That's better. All right. So we're talking about this uh, seven divided by six. Six goes into seven how many times? Vivian, how many times? Vivian, how many times? Is there, uh, yeah. How many sixes are there in seven? Just one group of six there. I put that six down there. We'll subtract. We're going to get a remainder of one. 
initially in the tens place, bring down the three with my arrow. With my arrow. You, sh you should do the same. Now at this point, what do I do? I'm sorry, I have a lot of people talking there. Remainder, because I'm going to do 12. Remainder 1. Yes. I feel sad for this class. Why? Well, we have a problem. See what happens here with people? I can't, I can't quite hear what you're saying to me. What? Why are you, talk, are you talking to me? Well, she was, she was right in stock on my eraser. It's mine. It's mine. Stare at the board and think what just happened to this class. 73 students are divided into groups of six each. How many groups of six, keep going over here, are there? How many students will not be in a group? Okay, so there's how many groups of six? Group them. Um, um, how many sixes? 12? You can get 12 sixes out of 73 kids. So you got 12 groups of six. How many kids are just stuck not being in a group? Yeah. That one remaining kid. This one right here named Zeta. No, I don't know what Zeta is. Oops, I'm sorry. Bella actually is the one. No, no, I'm pretty sure that's Zeta right here. Okay, so 12 groups. Twelve groups. Twelve groups of six. And one kid not in a group. There's my statement down there. It's just word question requires a word answer. That's awesome. And the rest we'll do, well, it's Thanksgiving vacations tomorrow, so let's stop right